Hey guys, I'm Dave back with another Affinity Photo tutorial. Today I will show you a simple trick to remove solid background with flood selection tool in Affinity Photo. Now there are many ways to do the same effect or remove background. I had already uploaded few ways video to remove background and if you like to watch you can go to this channel playlist and check those amazing videos. Now to remove background with flood selection tool, it's a very fast and easy way. But, but things need to remember that these steps is not applicable for all type of images. So you need to identify your image before doing this step. Now for example, if you have images like this, both background and image have almost same color or something like this flying here background white or any color and image have close to background color this type of images will not work properly for remove background with flood selection tool now see this image man in a hat black dress code and solid white background his hair is not flying or any messy also it's a different two solid colors one white which is background and other one solid black his dress now select flood selection tool click on the image background this makes a selection of whole image background especially on that area where we click as a selection so we click white background and it takes only white part as a selection. Now from your keyboard press Ctrl plus Shift plus I invert selection. Now selection is only the man. Go to right side below and add mask. That's it. Done. Press Ctrl D to deselect. This is the most fast way to remove background with flood selection tool but only if both background and images have two different solid color. Now try this again. Here red is a solid background and image have solid yellow color and no hair is flying. Now using same steps, select flood selection tool, click on the image background. Now from your keyboard press Ctrl Shift I invert selection now selection is only the image go to right side below add mask and that's it done press ctrl d to deselect if some part missed selection use both eraser brush tool or flood selection tool to remove that area like this just take flood selection tool Click on the image not mask and click again on that area and hit delete from keyboard. And that's it. I hope you find this video helpful. If you like my work with Affinity Photo then subscribe this Affinity Vibe YouTube channel to get more amazing Affinity Photo tutorials. You can support me on my Instagram account, link in video description and also you can check out the other amazing video just waiting for you in this channel playlist. Thanks for watching and I will back with another video soon. Till then keep practicing cause practice makes us perfect and have fun with Affinity Portal.